first, though, here is Giannis after the Bucks lost last night. Take a listen. At the end of the day, we, we lost four in a row. We're not going home. You know, we're still, you know, we're still here. You know, it's not, it's not the playoffs. Obviously, it's, it's, it's frustrating. You know, you want to win. You want to, especially again like this big game. Guys playing hard. We have to be better. And obviously, one of our, our best players in the team and playmakers, and best defenders on the team is not playing with us. Obviously, it's not an excuse. I'm not the guy that. Uh, gives excuses, but he's a big part of who we are, you know, and uh, we need him. I kind of have the feeling that everybody's in a panic mode, which is should not be the case. We should keep improving. We should keep improving. We should keep playing good basketball. We should watch the film, and at the end of the day, we got to go out there and compete. You know, when you come here, nothing can be easy. Our next guest is our NBA reporter, Eric Woodyard. Love Welcome it. back. <laughs> Eric, always so nice to see you. And we just heard Giannis urge everyone following the Bucks not to panic. I think this is just fascinating, right? Everyone told Milwaukee for the past couple of years, hey, what you did in the regular season doesn't matter. It's all about the playoffs. Then they spend the regular season tinkering, Eric, and they lose some games, and people are panicked about the regular season. You're with the Bucks all the time. What is going on right now? It's a few different things. Obviously, as Giannis stated, you can't underestimate the fact that Drew Holiday is out. He's a big part of the team, big playmaker, does a lot for this team on both sides of the ball. No disrespect to Brent Forbes and those guys, but they're not him. So I think that's mm -hmm. the number one thing. Number two, this team has struggled to close out games. You look at them entering fourth quarters, when they're down, entering, you know, going into the fourth quarter, they're 0-9. So they, they need to learn how to close games out. You can, you can date back to numerous occasions, starting with, you know, when they played the Celtics early in the year. They were just on our air playing the Phoenix Suns. You know, closing out those games is going to be huge for them. So I think when you factor out, factor in both of those things, that's the problem with this team. But as Giannis said, there's no panic. The front office, I spoke to somebody from the front office today, said the same thing, no panic mode. It's just a part of the growing pains. And, I mean, they're just reshifting their focus from regular season mode to trying to become a better team when it matters. Right. And, and look, Eric, I agree with, a, with everything that you said. And you're right. It's not time to panic. But it, it is time to have some concerns. And to me, the Bucks have lost their identity, not on the offensive end, but on the defensive end. I'm used to seeing a, a Bucks defense that play boxes and elbows, don't allow teams to get into the paint, a, a team that could test and make guys miss, don't hope that players miss. They could test shots. They have two guys that anchor a de their defense and Giannis and Brook Lopez, they're not doing that. They're not making those extra effort plays. And then, by the way, I'm going to say another thing. A lot of teams around the league do not fear the deer no more. The Miami Heat exposed their hand last year, and that's what happened. So teams are saying, you know what? All we have to do is load up and take this away, and we could beat the Bucks. So the Bucks are going to have to find a way to get their identity back and get their swag and drip back and make teams fear them again. Yeah, you hit it on the head, Perk. I think, you know, he said it right. Look, Holiday is huge for them because that he addressed the biggest issue that, you know, obviously those past teams had, which was playmaking. And that has a lot to do with closing games. You need playmakers on the floor when it's not an offensive set or a call set to make plays and go get baskets when you want to close out games. And so right now, without Holiday, they are missing that. But I agree with him. Do not panic. Have urgency, but don't panic. Get into your film. And I guarantee you, with a team that's good, that's had regular season success like they had, a great coaching bud, they're addressing two issues, focus and effort. They're not doing it consistently for 48 minutes a game on both ends of the floor. You see the turnovers that they have, very uncharacteristic. You see the, the, the mistakes on the defensive end that they're making, which obviously practice has something to do with that. We talked about that earlier. But for a Milwaukee team, we're used to seeing lockdown. That's uncharacteristic. They'll address it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and guys, look, it's a long way to go. I know we're past the third way mark of the season. I know everybody up there is nervous. We, we have to at least give them a chance to work this out before, as Giannis says, everybody <laughs> panics. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.